Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 16 of our slow and immersive playthrough of Hearts of Iron 4's Austria-Hungary. And we are in July 1941, well into the campaign. Let's go ahead and unpause at a slow speed and we are in an Axis faction with Germany, Great Britain, Japan and Nationalist Spain carving up Europe. Germany is mopping up Belgium here and we only have Soviet Union standing between us and we have we are assaulting it from the European front with together with Germany. Great Britain is holding down the Middle East. Actually they're kind of losing a little bit. So the Soviets are pushing push through Turkey here but the Japanese have opened up a third front uh, just recently. Uh, wow a German Reich is in here somehow. Very interesting. How's that? I'm not sure how that works, but somehow the Germans managed to plant themselves among the advancing Japanese forces and lead the charge. We are, however, you know, keeping to our own geopolitical aims, and that will be to carve out Ukraine and the Caucasus out of Soviet Union, maybe puppet them, and then we'll uh, come back to dealing with uh, the Balkans which is really our backyard. Kiss! Now we do actually build three of these divisions, which I'm going to go ahead and assign. Uh, hmm, okay. Definitely. Shurakuzu. Fine, right, hang on. Two of these I will assign to... Let's delete this one. I will assign to our Ivan. Ivan Hindi. One of these I will actually assign to our third army. One, three. Third army, yeah, so that we can deal with Greece. Finally, um, we have more. We have more divisions in training, and once those come, we will shift them to Greece to just deal deal with the socialists, the red menace in the Balkans. I think it's time to end it, really. Uh, hello, what are you doing? So let's go ahead, assign everyone here to the front. The German right declared war on the French Commune. Where is the French Commune? Ah, here it is. Kerguelen. That's how far the Reds, the Reds have run to hide in Southern Indian Ocean. Fine. But we are, okay, we're on our way to take Kiev, another Eastern European capital. Another jewel in the crown of Austria-Hungary. However, before we actually <laughs> Do that okay we need seven days we need a week's rest to get the supply lines working let's go ahead and mop this up this nonsense all right let's keep this unpaused we are yep reinforcing and then otherwise other than kiev yeah and then we push to dnipropetrovsk as well. What's the shortest push we can do? It's really kind of through here, right? Yeah, we're going to need to push along the railway line. But let's get the supplies in first. Yeah, it's a little tough here. Minus 62 breakthrough. Oh, we should have waited for supplies to be really honest. Just kind of losing men unnecessarily here. Fine, well, we do need to just get get ready yeah we'll mop this up build hospital 2 now ready okay wait call to arms from the Japanese shogunate uh, sure uh, so we've okay so we're done with this this is yeah, let's go ahead field hospital level 2 straight away by establishing the use of portable hospitals bringing the medical care to where it is needed we can stop many unnecessary deaths and permanent injuries let's go ahead Let's go ahead and do this. Now, we do need a lot of trucks, which we don't really have. So I'm not sure, but yeah, let's get a field hospital in. Right now, oh, that's actually gonna, mm, that wasn't a good decision yet. It's always better to stockpile some trucks first because now all those divisions that are in training can't get, uh, can't be trained. Okay, that's fine, to be honest, it's, we're going to produce those trucks pretty quickly. Um, okay, let's make sure, though, 
railways. Okay, let's at least repair them before we upgrade them. Do this. Let's repair all these railways first, and then we do Cherkasy Odessa railway. How are we doing in the Black Sea? I hope we're not being like interdicted by the Russians here. Okay, we are ready. We're ready to ride to Dnipropetrovsk. And we're be ready to drive on to Kiev as, as well. Just push through like so. Let's go ahead and do that. And we will be connected to Kiev from here. Maybe make a quite a big of pocket here. That will be some good stuff. Hide the neck, Okay, we still have forces reinforcing, but obviously our tanks are just no match. Right? The amount of Gotar kit down, so it is called Austria, Australian People's Republic, as our enemy in Germany and Soviet War. Uh, more red menace spreads. Strangers. Oh, I mean, it's just the weirdest geopolitical setup, and the funnest, though, that I've. I think I've ever had in a Hoi game. This is pretty fun. They're fascist and communist. They're Australians. Who's this? Richard Dixon. It's fine. We'll let the Japanese deal with you. You fall within their sphere of influence. Australian People's Republic joins the common zone. Seeing their countries as natural allies, the spread of in the spread of revolution, Richard Dixon and Joseph Stalin have signed a treaty that see the Australian People's Republic accede as one of the primary members of the common term. Okay. Highly disconcerting. Indeed. Okay, let's have a look. The combat, yeah, I mean, we have air superiority. We've got close air support. Our general is level 7 versus this guy's second level. And, I don't know, maybe it's useful for guys to know, so what I recently found out is that this is what affects whether your general picks the right tactic or counter tactic for the, to the enemy, and that's based on his skill and reconnaissance together. That's why kind of reconnaissance can give you a big advantage. For example, so these tactics we have shock right now, and yeah, they got defense, shock is obviously quite a bit better. Enemy has air superiority, hang on, are you kidding me? How many airplanes can we throw in this thing? Get in here, guys. Interesting. Active enemy fighters. We lost two, they lost four. But at least we are winning that game. Lost to anti air one. Okay, okay, we got Kiev. We do need this railway. Okay, this railway. Kiss! Kiss and I'll. Try and like all get in here. Let's be perfectly honest, guys. Yeah, let's just we'll let the Germans hold these provinces. While we ourselves are gonna just go ahead and encircle these, because we do want Ukraine. Yeah, we want everything that's Ukrainian. We want for ourselves. Sorry, hang on. We actually should select a national focus as well. And what do we have? Synthetic autarky we finally got. Uh, adds a synthetic refinery to a random state. The location will be displayed. Okay, we don't really want one right now. Armored warfare. 100% for armor technology. Mm, now I think this is okay. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, you know, about warfare doctrine. We really do need to get some doctrines, to be honest. We kind of need to commit to that decision. Let's go ahead and just do claim Galicia and try to get Lwov. Uh, peacefully from Germany. The state of Poland is nothing but an artificial construct. It can be created and dismantled as necessary. Let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, we complete reclaim the empire. But, yeah, let's just have a quick think. Yeah, I mean, I went over this before. This one gives us a lot of breakthrough, a lot of organization, right? So we're like on a constant attack. Whereas this one gives us like reconnaissance power, soft attack. 
I kind of feel like we want to do more with less, right? We have a lot of fuel, we have a lot of steel, so we will mechanize our army. Definitely motorize it and mechanize it. Because once we take care of the Soviet Union, and then the Balkans and Turkey, like, what do we really got to deal with? We're going to deal with potentially German Reich at some point. So all these wars will be in Europe. Uh, so I kind of feel like I want to grab these. Uh, we are going to lose, yes, 170. Right. But here again, we gain unexpected thrust, tactics, movement, attack, attack, tactic, damage, division speed. I mean, we want speed and breakthrough, right? That's our advantage. We have a million manpower. What about Germany? Can we actually know that anywhere? How much, ma how much manpower? Deployed manpower, one and a half million. Whereas for us, in the army, we have 600,000. We might have a million, so we'll always have, to be honest, less manpower than Germany. Right? So I feel like we go with mobile, since, and we'll have discounts for that in our focus trees. And I've never went with it before, to be honest. Mobile warfare is a focus on speed and maneuver to cut off and to or disorganize enemy forces. And we've done that successfully in Soviet Union. Right? Firepower, trench warfare, mass assault, unexpected thrust, attack, attack, tactic, damage. Hmm. This one just gives us more soft attack, some organization, more defense. I and mean, we will need to defend at some point sometimes, right? Soft attack, support companies, but I mean, so what? This is, support companies are like rangers. This is useless. This just raises overall organization, but this thing gives us many benefits to organization. Mm, soft attack plus 25, again. This is only for support companies, right? Although we could go here and get defense and line artillery recovery. Coordination, soft attack. No, I, I think I want to go with mobile. We get tanks and armor variants. So we will like our, our you know, mechanize and motorize our army. Maybe we go with like not artillery, but with like rocket propelled, right? Like self propelled rocket artillery. Like we'll kind of modernize our army, I think. And we go with that. Right? Then we have infantry here, plus 15, delay defender. Tactic, elastic defense. Again, a lot of organization, reinforcement rate. And then we go with what? Armored spearhead, breakthrough. Tanks plus 20% organization plus 3. Tanks and armor variants. And then we have Blitzkrieg. Half tracks motorized organization plus another 5. Tanks organization recovery rate. Mm. Or we go mobile infantry. And that means like yeah, all motorized infantry. Recovery rate and speed. All infantry and motorized mechanized plus 10. Yeah, I feel like we go with this one, Mechanized Offensive. Organization. Light Armored Recon Company. Uh, to tanks and armor variants. Yeah, this is, so we won't be able to use Rangers on our armored, like, Panzer divisions. But we will use armored cars, right? Organization tanks. Yeah, I feel like this is the way for us to go. It also conserves manpower. Right, we rely on like attack basically, overwhelming fire, planning speed. Okay, we don't have a single engineer, right? So we're, we're not really good at defending, we're good at counter attacking. All infantry, desperate defense, or modern blitzkrieg, fire brigades. More organization, backhand blow for defender tactic. Mm. Yeah, these kind, this kind of petter, petters out towards here, right? Whereas, what do we get here? Here we get line artillery. I mean, we do want to move away from this at some point. Yeah, this just gives us like a whole lot of soft attack. But we want to just outmaneuver the enemy and pocket them, right? Breakthrough. I feel like this is the lesson we're teaching ourselves in uh, 
on the Eastern Front that it's all about mobility, right? Yeah, let's go mobile doctrine, I think. Mobile warfare. Division speed, organization loss when moving, planning speed plus 50%. Unexpected thrust breakthrough plus 20%. So all these battalions go. Cool. Okay, let's do this. Delay. We get elastic defense. Let's actually read this, sorry. Mobile warfare is a focus on speed and maneuver to cut off and disorganize enemy forces. Okay. Then we have delay. Even when a battle cannot be won, it can be advantageous to slow the progress of attacking forces with ambushes and delaying tactics. Okay. Elastic defense. Rather than focusing all strength on the front line, an elastic defense creates a deeper layer of defenses which allows the defender more time to react and counter-attack while the attacker is spreading out and bogged down. Okay. Yeah, it's just, it's just we go with mobile infantry. I really like this one. Regular infantry is often too slow to keep up with, react to, or escape from rapidly moving armed forces armored forces the answer is to focus on motorized or mechanized infantry which can keep up with the pace of modern warfare okay, to be honest we don't have any of that infantry yet okay let's just hold off here yeah, let's just hold off there and see how we do so we lost a bit of soft attack but we got breakthrough and speed which is kind of what we really need right now yeah we're, we're breaking through here we are just absolutely ramming. Ramming through here, yeah. I think we're oh, This is a bit a bit awkward. A little bit awkward, but yeah, we kinda of ran out of organization there. But that's why we need lots of organization, lots of breakthroughs, so we can just keep pushing, 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 and pushing. Okay, let's get this set up. Nine days. And then we push and make a pocket here. Right, and then... We can probably just push. No. Not, 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 not so easy, I guess. Oh, wait, hang on. Why, why, why is, is our supply situation really that bad here? Oh, we're still building, upgrading these railways. Let's go ahead. Make sure our forces spread out here. We're fixing this railway. Yeah, let's get Dnipropetrovsk. Yeah, and then oh, it's all just a, a matter of waiting for a week for these to build up. Let's have a look. What do we have? MW aircraft. Uh, so we have these max speed and agility. Let's get speed and agility. Uh, okay, so let me just double check that this is improved close air support. So we have 178 to upgrade. Hedger. Yeah, so now it's gonna upgrade like what? The entire fleet. Okay, but I hope those upgrades are like minimal. Okay, let's just see. 2nd of August. Right, we need to upgrade 600. one per day. I mean, it's it's a decent upgrade, 5% agility. Right, and... So it's... Yeah, maybe that one is... Could you say... Could say it's worth it. Okay, let's just... Easily hold this ground. Four days, and we start... Ooh, wow, 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 wow. Where did you go? Okay, we now have... Okay, let's just go ahead and do this pocket then, I guess. Okay, that was a little unexpected. Oh, mate, you might as well just keep driving. I don't even know. Might as well, actually, wait, okay, you might as well wait because you're out of supply. Okay. Good initiative though here. Two days. I oh, really need that. Hang on, this has been built now. Okay, 
all of this. Insufficient resources, that's fine. Understand divisions. Okay. So we got hmm, why are these rookies? Okay, well. okay, we'll assign you here. Okay, no, hang on. You can just stay here then and exercise. And then we'll move you up. Interesting. Okay. We do need a lot of trucks though, quite urgently. Uh, yeah, a lot of trucks. This is ramping up though. This is ramping up. Okay, we have two pockets here again. Let's close this pocket. We'll close this pocket. Okay, we've fixed this thing. Excellent. So let's just kind of. Let's just go ahead and close this pocket while we're waiting three days for the railroad to Dnipropetrovsk to be upgraded. What about this thing? Surely we've clicked on it before. Ah, oh, we actually clicked on a lot of things before. We need to actually get it built. Yeah. Seems like we didn't didn't shift it up the queue. Okay. Um, Done. Let's go ahead and edit this uh, out of Kiev. The user can also just extend. Right. Okay, we're gonna push through here. Okay, that nice. That pocket is done. Now another one day here, and we will push straight south. So, 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 throwing, throwing reinforcements onto here. We still we have air support, so we're just kind of smashing through. So, 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 these guys are defending, Kiss. advancing here. Kiss. Let's go ahead and just push, push, push. Creepy wreath is surrounded. Yep, okay, let's do this. They're counter attacking. Vigila! We are slowly gaining the upper hand here. Done. Okay. Okay. Oh, commander. Nice, these guys are. Ah, oh, deary me. They've just been left on their own out here. Boom. Okay. Push. Krivorich has fallen. Nipropetrovsk secured. Case. Okay, let's go ahead and secure the western bank along the entire river. Uh, is this Ukraine? No, this is. What is this? Mosir. This is Ukraine. This is a bit of Ukraine. Okay, so we do want you, sir, on an offensive line. Right, let's take it all the way up to here. Let's get that planning bonus. You, sir, can then... Um, let's go ahead. Wait, let's have a look at the supply map. So next stop is where Stalino and Kharkov. 
Right, yeah, this is where we need to go. Offensive line. Harkov to Stalino. I don't know. Let's just remove this. Case. get another radio. Now let's go ahead and commit to mechanized one, since that will be a big, big improvement. Mechanized infantry is infantry equipment with armored personnel carriers yeah, on infantry fighting vehicles for transport and combat. Mechanized infantry is distinguished from motorized in that its vehicles provide a degree of protection from hostile fire as opposed to soft skin wheeled vehicles, trucks or jeeps for motorized. Let's go ahead and commit to this. I do to commit to this and then we'll see what we get with the other reason when the other research is unlocked uh, bases are in hang on that sound that kind of often sounds like a, okay these guys have been trained these guys are like out of supply to be honest mm, they actually have a suffer a lot of attrition I forgot about that Attrition just means we're like losing men and supply here for no reason. We should have just backed off and you know until we're in supply. Dangerous naval invasion. Hang on. From who though? From Soviet Union? It's fine. We'll be fine. Shorakozo! Up. Where is that? Entrenched. Okay, let's wait for that planning bonus. Case! You, sir. Okay, also waiting for the planning bonus. Okay. Germans aren't really doing much versus the Soviet Union. Why are they like leaving all the heavy lifting to us, it looks like? Although the Estonia, they're actually still alive. Wow. Estonians are putting up some stiff, stiff resistance to the Soviets. Um, we are going to build up. Oof. This is, this is Germans taking initiative here. Shurakozo. Uh, is it worth following up, following up with them? Yeah, we could actually cross the river here and get to Poltava, right? So instead of fighting on the river here, it's not the worst idea. Case. No. Yeah. Let's go ahead and support. Right, the Germans is... Vigilant. They seem to have gotten us a beachhead here. Boom. Wow, unexpected. The attack has begun. Yeah, that's nice. We're actually on the western bank now. Draw Russian forces away, Soviets. Cut them off from supply. They're being supplied from Poltava as well. Vigilant. Yeah, let's just get in there. Boom. Oh, I'm absolutely guessing it's going to be. Let's just get on the eastern river bank. Boom. Case and Alok. Yeah, okay, let's get back a little. Case and Alok. Yeah, okay, can all of these. Let's sh quickly final forces here to hold, hold this railway line. Right, let's see, yeah, let's get someone. Shurakozo! Attack from a different direction as well. Oh, hang on, we actually have a research slot. Oh, wait, we're actually done with uh, infantry equipment. This is very, very nice. Nice. And we have the latest uh, MIO assigned. Excellent. Research slot available. 
could do more with our infantry. Armored cars. All of this good stuff, all of this good stuff. We could do rocket artillery. But I have promised us, right, to actually commit to early destroyer hulls. Yeah, it's only 90 days. We also need the submarines, really. But let's get to destroyers at least so we can sure is that really worth it I mean we might as well get to 1944 straight away we don't even have any modules even if we get the hull or Raiders atomic research should we get that just to give Germany something to think about in case they ever I actually think that's not a bad idea Right, give everyone, the whole world, something to think about before coming onto us. The nuclear fission, splitting the atom, yields enormous amounts of energy and limitless destructive capability. Let's actually go ahead and do this. Research speed plus 4%. But there's a lot of things we don't particularly need. I mean, having some nuclear bombs probably be a better deterrence than, you know, a fledgling navy. Yeah. So I think from now on, actually, let's commit. I didn't think about that before. Yeah, one slot to atomic research. Which gives, it still leaves us plenty to play with. Um, okay. Let's build up Kiev. Uh, Ovina, we're being bombed. Uh, okay, let's just build these up while we're there. Okay. How long is this going to take? Four days. Okay, once we're through to Poltava, then we can get to Kharkov, and then we can start pushing here and close this pocket. I feel like that is a winner, a winning strategy. Uh, you, sir, can just go ahead and, to be honest, push the Soviets away on this front, get the last bit of Ukraine. Right, boom, boom, just absolutely. Uh, Uh, hang on, sorry, have we actually researched finally the tier 3? No, that's still 70 days away. Oh, really want those new tanks. How are we doing on our trucks? One for reinforcements. How many do we need? We're producing now almost 7 per day and we'll obviously go to many, many more. So we'll see, okay, we need more steel. In Germany. Hmm. Maybe we're better off. Great Britain, I think, is a better ally. Who knows? Oh, wait. Actually. Doesn't look like we're Okay, now, now we don't need it. So we needed it, then we don't need it. Yeah, just think about the Navy, guys. The Navy will require quite a bit of research commitment. I mean, really, like... If we really want to do it properly, it will need like three research slots for like the next three years. Because for destroyers, we still need naval gunnery and like light guns. Alright, so we'll, how, how many days is this? 75, 75, 38, 75. Yeah, we kind of need to like... So two research slots for a year will get us decent destroyers, I think, right? I mean, there's a few other things we're going to need to research, like mine mine laying and torpedoes yeah submarines would also be nice to get we also we don't have any dockyards to be really honest with ourselves yeah. okay we have eight actually we have like a ton of convoys mm. yeah i think the atomic bomb will probably makes more strategic sense for us we are kind of a land-based empire. We have everything we need. Right? Um, okay, come on. Have we built this up? Oh, wait. This is not connected. Oh, what a flop. Hang on a second. Oh, what an absolute flop. Oh, I didn't... Oh, this is an absolute disaster. Someone court-martialed this general. He's running this. I can't believe this. I can't believe we missed this little piece of railway. Everything is delayed by 10 more days. This is how wars are lost. 
that's exactly how wars are lost. Terrible. Okay, so we've got Field Hospital 2. Excellent. I would just go for Hospital 3. Reconnaissance 3 would be nice. This is a this is a very beneficial to our uh, division templates. More initiative. This is actually quite a nice one for us since we're now relying on maneuverability and overwhelming power. That would be a good one. Some of these infantry techs are good. Okay, tanks wise we are like ready. We just need that level 3. Rocket artillery, not a bad choice. Navy airframes. To be honest, even getting like a basic medium. I'm actually thinking if we do get nuclear weapons, can't they only be delivered by like a large airframe? No? I mean, we do we go with like ballistic missiles here? Yeah. Site guided missiles enables basic guided missile rocket engines upgrade soft attack here. Okay, rocket engine guided missile guided anti ship missile jet engines gas turbine. I feel like for nuclear weapons, yeah, we definitely need, right? Surely we need the large airframe. Or at least the medium one, I'm sure. I'm gonna look it up. I mean, we're still some time away from that. So I guess for now, let's just take advantage of this 300% bonus that we've been waiting for, like, for the entire game. To reduce dependence on oil proce uh, processes to manufacture substitutes from other substances and materials can be researched. Let's just go ahead and take advantage of that 300% bonus quickly. Get that done. Oh, I cannot believe it. Seriously, Shanxi joined the Axis. Perfect. Another eight days. Oh, what a disaster. Letting the Soviets regroup and, and entrench while we're just holding our man parts in the middle of Poltava. Oh, that is winter approaches. Honestly, I would court-martial someone here. <laughs> Cannot believe it. Hang on, so what do we have? Motorized manufacturer trucks and motorized rocket artillery breakthrough plus three. Uh, uh, fine, let's get it, I guess. Let's put it in our trucks. 9 per day and we still need like a ton, no? Needed for reinforcement. We need to make way more than that for reinforcements, if I'm honest. 48,000. We're producing 100 per day. So... I'm st still not building these military factories, though. Let's go ahead and repair. Come on. Three, two days. Ooh. Three civilian factories now. More military factories is what we really need. Go. So just go south. One, two, three, four. Wow, we're building almost four at the same time. Call to arms, enemies, communist China. Yes, of course. Yep. Okay. We're gonna deal with the Red Menace. If only we could get the Romanovs back back in the gang of European monarchies. But no, the Soviets murdered them. I'm sure they were all related, like, in some way. Uh, wait, is this... Uh, is this now repaired or not? Why do I... Yep, okay, now it is repaired, right? Okay, let's go ahead and upgrade this. Priority. Right, now... On to Kharkiv. Let's go, guys. The Soviets have entrenched themselves. It's not gonna be so easy now. Oh, I cannot believe this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think our tanks are also 
starting to date a little bit, right? Vigyelem! Aladás tovább! Translation is kind of low. Mm, okay, let's do the following then. Now, could we? What is this? Republic of Belarus. Actually, we could get Belarus, and we could like pop it that as well, right? I mean, are there actually any like resources that are worth? No, there's nothing in Belarus to be honest. But when we do break up the Soviet Union, right? We are going to want to pop it like pop it maybe Poland. Yeah, Poland is kind of our sphere of influence. All right, we are gonna want Ukraine, Belarus break these up and make like a buffer several buffer states uh, right on our borders with the Russians we do want some of this is this Moscow yeah, it is maybe we add that to another crown jewel of Eastern Europe Mm, oh, but this is steel. We need steel, to be honest. We need steel to, like, stop depending on Germany so much. Chromium here as well. Mm, this is very juicy, very nice. This I want. But... Let's go ahead and just edit. Kind of this. In fact, it's, mm, okay, we can't really edit it too much. Ooh. No, hang on. You can just hold up to Kiev. Right, and... Just go ahead and just knock these guys out of here to get a beachhead. Right. Claim Bukovina, claim Galicia. Hang on. Why do we. Oh, we already have that, so we we'll bypass that. Reclaim the empire. To finalize our de jure territorial demands, we must claim the various titles in Germany, Italy. Uh, again, claim. Do we really want that right now, though? Because I don't want to get claims on Germany and upset, you know, the moustache man. Mm, naval warfare, what does this give us? Add naval warfare, which grants dockyard output plus 10%. Renew the shipping industry, we get three dockyards. Restoration, fleet and beam doctrine, reform. Trade interdiction doctrine, base strike doctrine. Destroyers, submarines. 300% research bonus for destroyer models. Ooh, this is oh wow 300 carriers wow this is this is what we need to be honest let's go ahead naval warfare after regaining a coastline we must focus our efforts on rebuilding a fleet fit for a major power we get naval experience naval warfare which grants dockyard output invite four military guns the nubis Fine. let's do this one Okay, now it makes sense. Yeah, if we if we get those bonuses, we can commit like a couple of. Uh, I'd commit these two research slots to navy from now on, and then we have two to play with. Okay. You also go to Kharkiv. You sir also go to Kharkiv. And the rest of you just let's kind of reposition here. Edit. Let's just cover this. Oh, sorry, hang on. Okay, you go, yeah, you go. You go back. Let's fight through to Kharkiv, secure the railroad. And then we just collapse and close this massive pocket here. Right, that would be nice. Here, so, kind of need to. Case. Be mindful of not being overrun here. Yep, there we are. Ertetem! Okay, Kharkiv. Okay, let's spread our forces here. Nice, okay, done. Wow, we're just unstoppable with these tanks. Non aggression pact, no. Artillery manufacturer. Toad artillery, toad rocket artillery, hard attack, breakthrough. Mm, not sure we've decided yet. Because will we be using toad artillery or will we move to rocket artillery completely? 
So perhaps Toad anti-attack, anti-air. We don't even have any. Toad artillery, soft attack plus 2%. Production cost plus 3. Uh, well, we are going to get that. I would say let's do big guns. Right, we will. Uh, no, we'll not actually add this to the designs we have because we're producing tier 2. Once we get level 3 artillery, we will uh, put the new MIO on it and get all the, 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 the bonuses. Okay, let's hold this down. Seven days. A week's rest for the troops. Um, okay, we do want to fight through these marshes. Why is Germany just like waiting for us to waste our manpower? I mean, on the other hand, we do need to kind of beat the Soviet Union quickly because, right? Because if we keep like just sitting around, um, you know, they're only getting stronger. So with Germany or without, which mostly seems like without, to be really honest, they don't really seem to be doing much. Yes. So you, sir. You maybe like get us to Vitebsk's Smolensk line, kind of like up here. Oh. Start making plans. I will suggest three more days. Three more days, and we just close this pocket here. We just go down and close the pocket. these railways, construction. This infrastructure. Hmm. Nice, we are in supply, it looks like. So let's go ahead. Yes. We have Germans in here, so it's the shortest route. The Germans are going to hold. Yes. Okay, there is a river here, which I don't particularly want to yes. ford. You know, that we will push south. Alright. Let's just go ahead and reconnect kind of here. Boom. Boom, that's done. That is another pocket secured. Uh, no, wait, not secured. Not quite secured. Okay, we can support them from the other side of the river. Boom, that's your mobile warfare. Right, that's. Boom. I'm gonna wait for them to run out of supplies. In fact, I'm not even gonna wait, we're just gonna get to, uh, what is it, Stalino, which I think is modern Donetsk. I think. Yeah, it must be. What's the best way? What's the best route? We need to take this railway and this railway. So I would suggest we take this one first. Yeah, let's just... It's just absolutely steamrolling them. Because we don't want to get up, like, over this river. Yeah, I'd rather just fight over land here. The plane's impossible to defend. We've got like a hundred tanks in each division. An operative can be recruited. Uh, we do have a Soviet guy, Yevgeny Gagarin. Ooh! The first man in space. There's a Yuri Gagarin. But this must be like his younger brother or something. Yeah, let's get this guy. I want to get him. And I want to put him in Moscow. Now this lady, she, we also have a Soviet nationality, well-groomed Marina Terekhova. Uh, she needs to get to Stalingrad. Tell us what's going on there. Okay, you sir, you have planned. Okay, let's just go ahead and launch like a massive invasion there as a distraction while we advance on Stalin up here. Right. I'm going to go ahead and... 
Okay, we are fighting through here. Let's get the Germans in. Close this pocket. Oh, that's already secure. Nice. Job done. Okay. Masterful. Hmm. Yeah, we kind of stretched ourselves a little thin on this. Oh, okay, well, the Germans are actually taking initiative again. Well done. Uh, except not much we can capitalize on that. There's no way. Like, hard to get to Sevastopol. We need to... Yeah, we can push over here and sure make it it. Is this... Oh, sorry, this is the way the Most way we're going. This is kind of here. And then here. Okay. Fijala. Okay, we also need to kind of get in here, perhaps. Kisanalo. Shurakozo. Kisanalo. Just close this pocket. Free up these divisions. It's over for you guys. Shorakozo. That's Kiss. That will be that. Oh, hang on. What is going on here? Okay, the Germans are luckily holding this down for us. Kiss and I look. Uh that's fine, yeah. We're just pushing. Okay. It's fine. Well, yeah, it's kind of weird. What happened to our front line? Here? Yes. All right. No, let's just be, se be serious about this. Kind of this. Keep pushing. Okay, you sir need to like. to arms from Germany, enemies, China, whoever. We're ready, to, we're ready to take on anyone. You know, we came, we see, we conquer. Reliability for infantry equipment. I would, yes, I would like to upgrade, I guess. Let's just do it quickly while we're on this. Infantry equipment. Oh, okay. Okay, so it doesn't drop efficiency, but it does require you to produce new variants. Okay, I see kind of... Yeah, so if you want to upgrade, you're going to produce completely new rifles with that one little bonus. Uh, okay, let's see, have we fixed up this thing? Or not yet? Days remaining, Harkov to Harkov. Oh, did we lose Harkov for a bit? Five days here. While we're waiting, we're going to cut these guys off. Right, we, are, we are actually even going to cut off these guys here. Why don't, we just, why don't we just go all the way? Grab Rostov. Okay, okay, no, you actually stay here, defend the railway. Okay, let's just gain Rostov as well. Right, I mean, boom. Cavalry. The cavalry divisions just don't know what is happening. Okay, we are almost one in Ukraine. We can actually grab some of these. Let's transfer them here. Maybe let's get them onto Belarus. While we have these guys. Uh, okay, 500. Okay, I think in terms of fighters, we are okay. We can move up our uh, close air support maybe a little bit. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, we're still fighting over Ukraine. We're almost done with Ukraine, to be honest. Here that time. Kiss. Oh, the Germans. Here that time. Okay. Let's go ahead and. Close these pockets here. Kisanalo. Here we are. Just 
resistance to occupation in Poland. State Stanislaw in Krakow. Wait, hang on, let's take stock. Ooh. Okay, we did not, in fact, account for this one, did we? Uh, do we have any spies? Okay, we sort of do, but we sort of do not. This actually also reminded me that we need to do this, right? Oh, man, we have no supplies here. That is the issue. Infrastructure out of supply, minus 85%. We should have like built a uh, supply depot here long ago, shouldn't we? Man, that's a big mistake. We're kind of just wasting like manpower and equipment there big time. Okay, let's put that up front. Let's get these like railways up front as well. And then we'll repair these railways. Okay, and then and then we'll build the supply hub. Especially now that we've brought all these tanks into these mountains, man, it's a disaster. That's a bit of a disaster. Not a bit of a disaster, it's a big, like, a big disaster. Okay, you guys, let's just go. Just crush the Soviets here. Keys! Okay, let's close down this pocket. Uh, it can also help the Germans in Crimea. Although... Let's wait for the six days and this will be done. Just go ahead and close this pocket here quickly. Kiss! Let's close this. Hang on, sir. Let's do this front line. Let's put like three divisions on here. Maybe right, let's, do, let's put four. Get Sevastopol, hold this down. The rest need to come to this front line. Mm, oh, hang on a second. Kursk. We have, in fact. Offensive line. Oh, come on. Are we really going to take this guy? Second army, Geza Lakatos, to take Moscow as opposed to Ivan. Well, fine, he's doing the heavy lifting. Right. Okay, well, let's get ready at least. We'll, we'll extend the front line here. <clears throat> Into war armored car. And finally, we have the gun. Um, okay. Well, yeah, let's... Things were coming up on the hour, guys. So let's deal with uh, this research in the next episode where we set up the new tank, think out our naval research strategy and, you know, how we're going to mop up Soviet Union. But for now, guys, yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. Really interesting playthrough, actually. Not what I expected at all. Uh, but, yeah... Let's take stock. Actually, Japan is not doing too well against the Soviet Union here. Maybe that's why we are doing so well, though. But they definitely stretched thin. But we'll see. We'll see in the next episode. We'll take Greece as well. Let's kind of get, get on with that. Uh, yeah, but thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.